I'm a big old golf nerd. They love the history of the game. This is the one he used? Mm -hmm. You can actually see in these, these photos here from 94. Does he still like his hands low like this? Masters champion putter. And he was an amazing putter. It's incredible. There is a unique through line here at the Masters, one that spans more than 40 years, and now four generations of Spanish golfing stars. This is the photo from, from 15, the eight iron. Yeah, I mean, I've seen that shot. Really high, hard, accelerating follow through, trying to get it up in the air. Oh, he almost holds it out in the fly. I think it's the same eight iron he has in the bag right now. Same thing. You still have the mark from that one shot? <laughs> he should have kept it. <laughs> Just being able to hopefully add my picture to this. That uh, would be very special. It's not added pressure, but it's added motivation. Will the Seve donate? That's a question. Potter too. See, this is what might make it may make me cry. So much legacy and so much history. One thing me and Sergio have in common is I think it was his first Masters when Ali won, my first Masters when he won. Seve being the first European to win the Masters only to do it twice after him. Everything requires a bit of creativity to it, right? And I think uh, that is kind of what's similar for all of us. For John Rahm, now a perennial Masters contender, trying to follow in the footsteps of Seve Ballesteros, Jose Maria Olazabal, and later Sergio Garcia, is something he has grown to embrace and cherish. After he won, in 1980, how many Europeans came and started winning, right? He was the one that paved the ground. So if he was able to make that impact in Europe, imagine in Spain, right? And then same with Ali afterwards and Sergio. So I'm always forever gonna be extremely grateful for, for what they did. One more. Is this the actual one? This is the one. So it's a 42 year old jacket. It's been around a while. The hat, so. yeah, the Seve hat on, it's, it's unique. Luckily, I've joined this three great players as a major champion, but I'm the only one who hasn't won here. I've learned each time I've played here, and I think uh, I've become better every time, so I do think I'm ready for it. A lot of history in this golf course, and it's something we all dream of, and I would love to be the fourth Spanish player to win the Masters. It's a lot of tradition, a lot of history, and a lot of legacy when you win here. Something like this is hard to replicate. That's what makes this uh, so unique. Thank you.